Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, you know I never hold back, and I'm not about to start now when we're talking about this entitled, arrogant, disrespectful piece of work and his scheming, Z-list actress wife Meghan Markle. I've had just about enough of their whiny, narcissistic victimhood tour dragging the royal family's name through the mud at every chance they get. It's a disgusting display of immaturity and outright betrayal towards the longest reigning monarch in British history, the incredible Queen Elizabeth II. This woman was as classy and dignified as they come. She spent 70 years dedicated to serving the people of the UK with integrity and an unshakable sense of duty. She guided that nation through war, uncertainty, scandal after scandal, all with elegance and steadfast leadership. And how did her own grandson Harry repay her lifetime of selfless service and quiet resilience by acting like a rotten, spoiled little brat and abandoning the royal family? All because he and his D-list cable actress wife wanted more fame and fortune as celebrity victims in America. It makes me absolutely sick. The total and utter disrespect these two grifters showed the 96-year-old queen in her final years on this earth is utterly unforgivable. They didn't care one bit how their greedy cash grab would impact the head of the monarchy and, by extension, relations between our two nations. All Prince Petulance and Princess Pinocchio cared about was cashing in their royal titles for a massive media payday by lying through their teeth and painting themselves as victims of a racist institution that gave them absolutely everything. It's disingenuous and frankly pathetic. Let's get one thing straight here, folks. The British royals aren't some evil cable of bigots persecuting Meghan for her biracial heritage like she wants you all to believe. Quite the opposite, they welcomed this no-name foreign actress into their family with open arms before she showed her true woke warrior colors. In reality, Meghan Markle is the racist one, trashing her own family members as racist imperialists to scam more money from Netflix and Spotify, shamelessly throwing the Queen's staff under the bus by lying that a senior royal speculated about her unborn baby's skin tone, when even Oprah said she never revealed who it was. What kind of deranged mind game is she playing at here? The queen who worked tirelessly to modernize the monarchy and inspire unity across the Commonwealth would never approve of such disgusting discrimination. Meghan knew exactly what filthy lie she was perpetuating when she aired that vile racism claim without proof. And let's not forget how this twisted, conniving woman mocked the Queen's trademark wave and mannerisms in that same Oprah interview from hell. I still can't get over the audacity and lack of respect. It's like she has zero self-awareness or impulse control. Just endless narcissism and callous disregard for the very family that welcomed her with open arms. I fear those heartless actions from Harry and Meghan really did break the Queen's heart in the end, after decades of faithful service and class. Hearing two of her closest relatives slamming the institution she sacrificed everything for and airing every bit of drama for millions to gawk at, it must have been utterly devastating for the 96-year-old woman in the twilight of her life. And to pour salt in the wound, we just learned in Harry's treasonous memoir Spare that the wannabe Kardashian has been lying through his teeth for years about years of rampant illegal drug use, including cocaine, psychedelics and weed, which he claims was different and helped him. You're damn right, it's different Harry, because it's a federal crime punishable by years in prison. And now this confessed criminal junkie is just strolling around America on what I can only assume is an illegitimate visa after admitting to a litany of felonies. This is an embarrassment to the special relationship between our two nations, and I simply will not stand for it. You want to spit on Queen Elizabeth's legacy and flaunt your wildly privileged life in the monarchy's face for profit like a bunch of degenerate reality stars. That's your choice, but you sure as hell aren't going to keep living it up scot-free in my America when you're back in the White House. As president, you can rest assured I will direct federal agencies to investigate Duke Hazard's immigration and visa paperwork with a fine-tooth comb. If this unscrupulous dope fiend lied about his prolific criminal drug use at any point in the process, he will be deported from the United States faster than you can say, Your Majesty. I don't care if you're the fresh prince of Buckingham 
or the literal king of England himself, no one enters our sovereign nation under false pretenses and freely admits to hard drug crimes without severe consequences. That's not the America I want for our proud, law-abiding citizens. Not on my watch, folks. If evidence shows pretty boy Pukesbury committed visa fraud or lied about his illegalities, he will be thrown into removal proceedings so fast it will make his confused little head spin all the way back across the pond. This freeloader can take his insufferable C-list wife and their preachy liberal politics back to Megxit Cottage in the British countryside where they belong, or to Canada, Mexico, Timbuktu. I don't give a flying feather where this deadbeat duke ends up, as long as his smug, defiant ass is 100% out of our great nation. You can take that scorching message straight from the Hurricane Donald to Harry's pansy little ears. You were born into a life of unimaginable privilege and decadence, my friend, only to foolishly throw it all away to become a professional celebrity victim getting high and spouting anti-monarchy, anti-America garbage from your Los Angeles mansion. Well, the free ride is over now, bud. You're either going to show some respect for the system that raised you and the institutional pillars that our two countries were built on, or you can pay for your unforgivable crimes against the Queen's legacy with deportation and permanent exile from these United States. The clock is officially ticking. Prince has been. Better get your sobriety memoir ready and make sure your paperwork was airtight, because you arrogant, drug-abusing anarchists like Antifa and BLM don't get to spit in the face of America or the British monarchy and get away with it scot-free anymore. Time's up. Those are the facts straight from the desk of your favorite sturdy oak president. Folks, I hope Prince Petty Pants and Megzi over there are listening loud and clear, because next time I'll be the one reading them their constitutional rights before hauling them straight to the slammer where unpatriotic druggy criminals like them belong. This is the hard truth, no chaser. Share this video with every red-blooded American you know, and let's finally put this disrespectful farce to a long overdue end. The tough as nails Trump administration is coming, and this time you better believe we're going to make the monarchy great again once and for all by deporting Harry and Meghan's woke asses for good. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.